All right, so first thing you need to do is determine what hard drive you're going to get to upgrade. Now, a good way to, to choose one is to just go straight over to Amazon, search for laptop hard drives that are two and a half inches. Now, another limitation of the PS4 is that it can only handle up to two terabyte. So a quick search, two terabyte, two and a half inch laptop drive. First result, Samsung Seagate, two terabyte drive. This is actually the exact one that I've got right here. And one thing to note is that the PS4 will accept no taller than uh, 9.5 millimeters. So you're going to want to go ahead and choose one that is definitely 9.5 millimeters tall or less. Um, good thing to look at this 0.37 inches. That's 9.5 millimeters. So this one will be compatible. And then another good way to check is to go and look at the question and answer section, because generally the first question is, will this work in my PlayStation 4? So once you find a suitable hard drive that is, you know, a maximum capacity of two terabytes or less, less it's a two and a half inch drive, not three and a half, and you make sure that it is not more than 9.5 millimeters tall, then you're all set and you can rest assured that you can order any one of those hard drives. The first couple results that come up will be uh, pretty reliable results when you throw in just two and a half inch, two terabyte laptop hard drive. So, um, yeah, now on to the rest of the preparation. All right, so now that you get your hard drive picked out, we need a USB flash drive to put the system update on and to save all our games. So I have mine plugged in here, it's called PlayStation going to right click on that in the file explorer and then we want to select format from the context menu that pops up and now you this will erase the whole thing so choose fat 32 leave the allocation size where it is now name it something ps4 or in my case uh, I called it PlayStation then you want to uncheck the quick format so that it does a full format and then click on the start button. It's going to take a while, but it's necessary. It will wipe out the drive and get it ready for the next step, which is saving all the data and putting the system update onto the thumb drive. All right, so here we are back out in the living room. I have the uh, thumb drive plugged into the PlayStation 4, and we're going to copy all the saved data over from the PS4 onto the thumb drive. So you want to scroll through your menus, and go over to the Settings tab and select that. And you want to scroll down to, I believe it's called Application Save Data Management, and you want to select that. Now you want to select Save Data in System Storage. I believe it's the top option. And then you want to copy to USB storage device. And then you want to select each game that you have saved data for individually. Select the checkbox or select all. And then tap on Copy and that will copy each game over to the thumb drive. Now it's painstaking, you have to do each one one at a time, but you will thank yourself later when you don't lose your position in all your games. Now we do this step first because it will further prepare the thumb drive for the update file, which we will be doing in the next step. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up the PS4 system soft date, software update website. Uh, you're gonna see <coughs> just underneath here there's a link that says if you want a fresh install click this link since naturally we do we're gonna click that link this will open up this page just scroll down a little bit and then you'll see a download now button go ahead and click on that and that will begin the update I'm gonna cancel this download because I already have the update saved you want to go ahead and finish that download obviously so you can leave the Sony website now and then plug in the thumb drive that we put all the save data on. 
So I have mine here, it's called PlayStation. I'm going to open that up. You'll see a PS4 folder if you already copied over the save games. If you didn't, create one that says PS4. And then inside PS4, create another folder. We're going to call this Update, all capitals. Alright, and then we're going to go to wherever we downloaded that PUP file. That's the update. We'll go ahead and open up the update folder. And then we want to drag this PUP file into the update folder. I'm going to pause while it does it. Alright, so we're just about done. And once that's copied over, you are all set to update your PS4. So you can go ahead and close this all down now, disconnect and head back to wherever your P upgraded PS4 is.